Hey everybody, Adam Savage and I am here. Yeah, I will oil these wheels. Hold on just a second. Let's see here. Uh, Oh yeah, we're watching the sausage get made today. Excellent. Excellent. Hi everybody, uh, Adam Savage in my cave and I am answering questions today about Mythbusters from Tested Patrons. Today's question is a funny one, and I have a funny answer to it. Uh, today's question comes from Hyperbin. Hyperbin says, what is the most obscure skill you picked up while working on Mythbusters? Um, it's a good question. Uh, and the main takeaway I have for Mythbusters is a very, very, oh. I'm gonna let the oil work its way around those wheels so they stop squealing. Yes, I learned lots of skills on Mythbusters. I learned all sorts of different things. How to put together a lead balloon, how to herd ducks. Uh, yeah, I, I, I learned how to water ski behind a, an excavator. Um, however, the show worked best when we weren't sure of the outcome. And that was most of the time. There were times that we were specifically attempting to get a specific outcome because we were doing an interim test and we wanted to show a positive that had been done hundreds or thousands of times before by other uh, experimenters. And that's when we always got boned, when we needed a specific result. Something would confound us on the way to that result. Um, but for the most part, the show was best when the narrative was totally, completely genuine, when we were building something we had no idea of what the outcome would be. Um, or we also had a certain amount of time to achieve something, and we got it done at the last minute. It, like, that happened a lot on the show, and that's because it happened a lot in real life, and it's because of a very particular skill that all of us gained in the course of making the show, and that skill is knowing how much work you can leave to do that you can still get done within a day. Okay, so let's just say, let me just, uh, let's, theoretically for this, let's take a couch. Everyone knows what a couch looks like. So a couch is composed of a bunch of different uh, uh, components. Composed of components, yeah, that's good English. Uh, there's a wooden frame, usually. Uh, that wooden frame has uh, foam and batting attached to it, and then fabric is upholstered over top of that. Um, so each of those things requires a certain set of steps to get done. And what we all became experts at is in knowing how much of a couch to leave unbuilt so that we could get it done by the end of the day. I, the joke I make now is that my job is to paint myself into a corner and then film myself getting out. And that's the skill I learned on Mythbusters. I learned what is just enough work and just enough uncertainty to make a shooting day both exciting and yet to get to the result you wanted to at the end. And I don't mean looking for a specific methodological result. I mean getting the story on camera. And it's, I mean, I'll have that skill for the rest of my life. Uh, I know one day builds always take longer than a day. <laughs> And my ambition here in this space uh, has, has been famously overblown um, because no one day build ever happens in a day. Um, and yet, like on Savage Builds and Mythbusters Jr., the same thing held true is that there were regular check-ins with production where they'd be like, can we really get this all done in a day? Like, yeah, we can totally get that done in that day. And moreover, it's gonna be exciting because it's gonna be tight. And that makes good television. 
I don't know that that skill applies to anything but television. <laughs> oh, actually it totally does. When we built the, uh, uh, the command module escape hatch at the Smithsonian in the summer of 2019, that was me utilizing that skill for a public performance. Yeah. And my whole team was like, are we really gonna get this done in a day? And I kept on being like, mm, yeah, I think so. And I learned to trust the I think so. I learned to trust my intuition about that and I was right. It is a skill I continue to exercise in all of the media I play with. Um, you know, on the Mythbusters tours I did with Jamie, we had equipment break down all the time on stage and that was kind of the point. We never really got around to fixing it so it wouldn't break because it would break in these really funny ways that we'd have to fix on stage. And that was like the audience felt like they were getting an extra show and they were, it was real. We were like climbing onto stuff to try and fix it and rerouting water pipes and stuff. It, like all of that is really fun to witness. It is really engaging to witness an adventure being partaken by people fit for adventure. And so, you know, when something breaks on a stage and the people on that stage fix that in front of you, you feel like you're seeing something pretty special. And I agree that that is pretty special. That's kind of neat. That is like, that's really unique. Uh, it's what made Mythbusters unique. Uh, it's hopefully what one of the unique strings in all of the media that I will produce. And it is by far the most esoteric and hard to define skill uh, that I gained while making Mythbusters. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good answer. Thank you guys so much. Uh, hi, Perbin, thank you for your excellent question. And uh, per always, keep submitting your questions, tested patrons, and I will continue to answer them. Stay safe, happy holidays, whichever holiday you feel like celebrating. Well, that's the one that you should. And I will see you guys next time. Cheers. <laughs>